okay this tutorial is about using the busier tool now suppose you want this image to be laser printed um, so what will happen um, when you print this uh, image this will fall off this will fall off and this will fall off that's a different thing if you want all of this to be one uh, separate pieces but uh, uh, cut from the laser cutter but if you want this to be printed as a whole you would want to create a boundary around it okay and let's try doing this um, let's use this tool it's called the busier tool now this helps in creating boundaries now I simply tap 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 around the Now here, here, I go here, 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 I quickly trace out, you will notice that the edges are really sharp, don't worry about that, we'll work on it later, here you go, do this. So what will happen when it comes out of the laser cutter? The green boundary you see will be cut and the rest of it you can engrave so it doesn't fall off in pieces so it depends on you how you want to use it here 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 and when you complete it i would recommend that you use a single go while you are um, tracing uh, you're trying to create uh, a boundary using the busier tool um, once you've done this what you can do is you can select this tool here and you can see there's a boundary created but this is a very sharp boundary what you could do is again press shift select the places where you want the boundary to be really smooth okay select this here and there are these multiple options here smooth corner just like this and see how this is smoother than the rest of it let's try it once again I select and I press shift and I don't lift my finger off the shift key button and then I use the selected tools and I make it smooth look at this isn't this better right so that's how you trace um, sorry you use the busier tool to actually uh, create a boundary around something um, around an object you could always use this square tool this is black uh, blue I know what you can do is when you're using this tool you can select this and let it go at the back this is like your um, option to control the layer and I suppose I want it to be back I can obviously create this kind of boundary around the my object or I could use this and then select this and again make it go back so it's up to you how you want to do it but there are a few ways to create a boundary around an object